Hello, it's me, Kari, a.k.a. Carmen, Karma, Karina, Carrie, Scary Carrie, whatever. Anyways, so it's been raining today, and I just got off work, and I was walking to my car, and guess what I saw? I have a halo around my car. Cray cray, huh? <clears throat> so... <sighs> so one of these days I'm gonna, um, you know, start like a story time or something. So I can share some situations that have happened in my past supernatural situations that it's hard for people to believe and people seem to think that um you know whatever they want to think because of their textbook education or whatever but um and their closedness and inability to be receptive to seeing things that they normally wouldn't see because they're so closed it's um quite a phenomenon. Uh, our perceptions and our reality, how we're taught growing up and what we allow ourselves to um, do or see or learn. Uh, I found that if you, the more you learn, not that I know a lot, which I don't. I mean, like, I only know like the tip of the iceberg. Um, but as I study different spirituality and as I've, um, you know, worked with people on more of an intimate level, practicing massage for like 15 or 16 years, I become a lot more sensitive. How do I turn this thing around? Um, but anyways, I've become more sensitive um, in terms of uh, being able to feel energy, like um, people's emotions. They call it being empathic and, um, you know, like for me, it's really hard for me to work in a chaotic environment for a really long time. Um, I need time to recharge. Uh, I get really drained when I'm around certain types of people. And um, yeah, so I really enjoy being alone. I enjoy uh, just kicking back with my dog, going for walks, you know, going hiking, stuff like that, reading. Um, I like to watch YouTube videos. I've been watching this lady, uh, Grave Dancer, and before I watched Tiptoe Chick, um, started a few years ago watching them. Because I, you know, since I was a child, I was always really attracted to the spiritual uh, realms and when I turned 18, I started, um, you know, going to different churches and stuff and checking out various different ways of thinking and spirituality. And I was always um, attracted to the uh, witchcraft. Like, um, I know that sounds like bad or whatever, but because people have put such a bad connotation on uh, being considered a witch, but anyways, I'll just talk to you through here because, wait, I'm there, now you can see me. Anyways, so, um, you know, being a witch, that's... However they interpreted it, you know, from Hebrew 
to the way it's in, it is in the Bible, I think they just use the wrong word. And I think that, you know, we have these words and we put meanings to them. And then nowadays, you know, the same, whoops, nowadays the same word that, that they used a long time ago could mean something totally different now. Uh, so it's all in how you interpret things. So symbols and different things. And, you know, like in the caveman days, they could, you know, say, ug, ug, and it could mean, bring me that stone. But nowadays, ug, ug means a pair of fluffy shoes, you know. So, you know, think about that. Think of, you know, think more deeply. Sometimes I have a tendency to jump to conclusions and sometimes be judgmental. And, you know, I'm not perfect either because it's, you know, within our, our nature to be, to not want to um, take responsibility or, um, you know, own up to your own the way you communicate or the way you think or whatever your perception is that might be wrong. Although sometimes it's kind of like, well, what is wrong? I mean, you know, about like if somebody has a perception about something, how can that be wrong? If everything is created by God, um, then why would it be our fault that that it, whatever it is, is what it is. And if it's wrong in somebody's eyes, what if, you know, I mean, like this story about the devil and God, you know, and da, da, da. Well, how is that our fault? You know, we're a bunch of people. Why would, why would like some God in the sky, like play games with humankind that way, you know? I mean, that's why I believe that there are different dimensions, different beings from different, like really far, far away, different, like light years away, um, and possibly has higher intelligence, most likely, and, you know, um, has found out how to check us out, you know, but um, maybe that's why people see shadow people. Maybe that's why people see ghosts, you know, um, or have, you know, had, ex you know, there's a lot of people that have had experiences with alien encounters, you know, like didn't know where they were for a certain period of time and woke up and they lost like a whole chunk of time out of their life. So, um, these are just things that people need to think about that, um, you know, knowing that we all vibrate we're made of energy, we're perceived a certain way by our rods and cones and, you know, particles of light. And how is that created? And how is that pulled all together? And then what's beyond that, beyond what we can see? Well, we found out that there is bacteria. So, you know, we can see the microscopic um, creatures um, now now we know about that to wash our hands and that there's bacteria everywhere in the air, in our eyebrows, on our skin, everywhere. Um, so in our gut, in our vaginas, in our mouths, in our eyeballs, everywhere, you know? So there's that microscopic level of you know, creation, and then we've got, it just goes from negatives to positives, you know, all the way to infinity and just keeps going and going. So why not try to think outside the box a little bit? That'd be great. Uh, well, I think I'll go now. Bye.